Hello there and welcome to this week's edition of our I've Decided podcast. My name is Kim Martin, founder of I've Decided, and I am so excited to be with my guest today, Julie Gray. Hey, Julie. Hi, Kim. It's how, great to be here. How are you? I'm well, thank you. Good. Well, you're going to find out in a minute why we think she's an awesome guest, but my question for you this week for you to contemplate is, are your habits doling you or making you sharper? Now, when we think about our daily habits, you know, we can get so acclimated to the things that we do on a daily basis that we don't even recognize if they're good or bad. Right. We're just doing them. Yes. And, and the big con issue with that is our habits determine our outcome. So we want things so badly, right? We yes. want them, and uh, but our behaviors don't show that. <laughs> and so I am uh, here to introduce to you guys, Julie, because Julie is passionate about writing. I am. And so when we think about sharpening our skills, we can utilize the analogy of sharpening the pencil. pencil that's what I like to say. And this is, I can't <laughs> believe how perfect timing the weekly winning word fell um, for next week. You're going to be leading and I've decided to write three workshop sessions. You're yes. going to do three in this year yes. and then continue into 2023. Correct. So uh, we're going to learn all about that and how you can sharpen your writing skills. And it's going to be virtual. Yeah. Uh, so you can join from anywhere. So wherever you're watching this uh, video or vodcast or listening to the podcast, yeah. wherever you are, you can join. And so we're excited about that. So uh, obviously you are kind of a writing expert, Julie. So why don't you give us a little bit of your background okay. and just kind of share what, why you approached me and said, I'd really like to do this. And you're a part of our, I've decided community. Yes, and I'm a community member. And, uh, so a little bit about my background, I've, um, worked in communications, marketing, public relations for my whole career. Um, I've worked in the industries of insurance, healthcare, and probably most recently the last eight to 10 years in an IT data um, systems department area within some major corporations. So um, I've always done writing, uh, you know, everything from annual reports to press releases to, um, you know, writing PSAs for radio or um, commercial scripts. And um, I've also written a lot of feature articles for local Peoria area publications. Right. And so you have a little dream too, don't you? You I, would like I have a lot of dreams. When it comes to writing though. <laughs> I do. I I I want to try a whole variety of things, you know, publish some children's stories, write a novel, write a screenplay. A screenplay. I that's remember you said one. that's one yeah, thing you really want to do. So that's yeah. on your goal list, that your is, dream list. That is. So this could be an opportunity to give you some accountability yourself. Exactly. And I, I approached you um, to start this because I've been thinking about it for a long time. And part of the reason was that accountability works well with me. So if I'm accountable to other people in a group, um, that I think keeps me on track and I think it can help other people too, who, um, you know, have that goal, but maybe don't, um, organize themselves to achieve that goal. Mm -hmm. So then when you're coming to a group of people and, um, other people are reviewing your writing and, um, providing, uh, feedback, then, you know, that kind of prompts you to keep going. Absolutely. So it's accountability support, two pieces of the puzzle exactly. for success, right? Yes. So now you know why Julie uh, is a perfect guest for our weekly winning topic, which is sharpen. Uh, that's our weekly winning word this week within our I've Decided community. And uh, we're going to talk a little bit about that. In, in the weekly winning article, we talked about five habits to stop that are dulling your yeah. abilities and what you should start then to help sharpen your abilities. So we're going to have a, a discussion around that, but I just definitely wanted to get out here right front and center because yeah. this workshop is starting next Wednesday, yeah. or, or I really should give the date because uh, I don't know when someone might be listening to this. So 
Correct. Wednesday, September 28th. Eight. Wednesday, yeah. September 28th. And it, it will be virtual on Zoom. And it's from 6.30 to 7.30. 6.30 to 7.30 p.m. And you do need to sign up. It's absolutely free, but you do need to sign up. And I tell you what, the easiest way is if you go to our I've Decided Facebook page, our main page on I've Decided, there is a link that's tagged right at the top. And you can sign up right there or you can message us or send an email to me at Kim at I've decided.org. But if writing is one of your goals yes, and any kind of writing. Correct. I think we're focusing on, um, you know, people who are interested in uh, everything from a feature article to writing a movie script or a TV show script, um, a play, um blogs, you know, a book, a book. blogs yeah so and anything. anything yeah anything in that realm would fit yeah and you had a very successful uh writing group in years past yeah well actually i started um i had my own business for about uh eight to ten years and i started a group of uh, freelance communications professionals so i i did a lot of freelance writing again for um, local publications, and I, um, I really benefited from that, and I think other people did as well. And so I, I thought, well, you know, I have that experience. I'd really like to share that, uh, and you know, so I hope that you know people will um, be interested and sign up. Yeah, I know we've had a few sign up already, so right. I believe they will be interested. Right. Okay, so what are those habits that are dulling our abilities and? And what are some things that we need to replace them with instead? So one of the things that we talked about, Julie, um, in our weekly winning article this week was stop pushing through and start taking a break. Right. You know, I compared it to bulldozers, right? Like yes, we, you did. I mean, we <laughs> live in such a, a fast paced world. It is. Everything is moving. The information is coming at us so quickly right. that it's almost it, virtually impossible to process it all. It is. And so we're just, you know, we're plowing through like a bulldozer, except we're not bulldozers. Correct. We're humans and we are not designed to just keep going, going, going without yeah. taking a break. And I think that, you know, that kind of workaholic state or that mm -hmm. got to stay busy all the time, just mm -hmm. can't take that chill time um, kind of mentality right. is, is wreaking havoc uh, in our society. What do you, what are your thoughts on that? I, I agree. And I think especially for anyone interested in writing, you have to, you have to, have that time apart to regenerate mm -hmm. because I think it takes thought and, you know, people have writer's blocks. Right. So, you know, maybe that's because they're too busy. So I think um, everyone can use the time to reassess what they're doing and see how, ask how busy am I and do I need to slow down? Yeah. So that's a great self-reflection question, you know? So, mm -hmm. you know, when is the last time that you've truly taken a break? And, and I don't mean like a little water break. I, I mean like a, a rest day, a right. relaxation right. day, a day where, you know, people laugh at me, but every now and then I just need to, well, I call them a veggie day <laughs> is what I call them. And my daughters know it too. Cause they're like, Oh, you're having a veggie day today. I'm like, yes, I am. Don't bother me. And so that means usually that I don't get out of my jammies mm -hmm. and I spend most of the day on the couch, uh, just watching some Hallmark. I yeah. like good, you know, I love sweet love stories, but yeah. nothing to, you know, yeah. like hallmark -y kind, sure. kind of love stories. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like little teen. I think I compare hallmark love stories to like teen romance novels yeah. on TV, you yeah. know, very sure. PG, yes. but sweet little shows, or I'll watch shark tank, you know, things uh -huh. like that, or sure. rewatch the voice. I love watching That's that kind of stuff. Yeah. So yeah. I can spend the whole day just doing nothing but that. And I did that on labor day. Oh. Uh, I, I'm like, I planned it too. I'm like, I'm doing nothing. I'm doing nothing, nothing, nothing. And I couldn't <laughs> wait. And, you know, it's not being lazy. Yeah. It's not being it's selfish. Not. It's not. It's saying I work very hard. Yes. I have a lot of people that I want to take care of and give back to. Right. And yeah. how can we do that yeah, we if have... we don't 
if we're not right. re-energized yep. or rested. Agreed. Yes. Yes. So stop pushing through. You're not a bulldozer. Okay. <laughs> Take a break. Take some rest. Okay. Not to be confused with procrastination. <laughs> <laughs> Because the second one is stop procrastinating and start doing it now. Yes, And exactly. it's funny that I put that right after taking a break. And I said, unless you're resting, do uh -huh. it now, unless yeah, you're resting. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. But otherwise do it later. And the point is we don't want to confuse procrastination with taking a break Correct. or a rest after working hard. Procrastination is different, right? So yes. procrastination is not because you're tired. It's because you simply don't want to do what you know you need to, to do. do. Yeah. That's procrastination. And I think most of us struggle with that. <laughs> I know <laughs> that I That might be like hitting the snooze button <laughs> yes. right in the morning. Yes. And uh, 20 times before you wake up. Yeah. My, you know, my youngest daughter, Katie, she would set her alarm for like five o'clock in the morning. Oh, wow. And she didn't have to get up till 630 okay. because she wanted to hit the snooze button that many times <laughs> craziness right it 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 justified something in her mind that she could just hit that snooze button so yeah. many times but finally i had a conversation with her and i said truly you're doing yourself a disservice you need to sleep until you absolutely have to wake up you right. know you don't want to be late you want to give your time for breakfast not like right. sleep to the last minute when you're walking out the door right but wake up at a reasonable time so you're not rushed but you're missing out on a good hour of sleep yes and you know, and that's more important than the snooze button. Yeah. She actually got it and she started just setting her alarm to when she needed right. to. So, you know, sometimes we'll even just so we can procrastinate. Yeah. We we kind of factor it in. <laughs> And I think sometimes uh, even if you're a writer, you procrastinate. You know? uh, so, I would say that. For so sure. I think um, bringing, uh, you know, coming and being part of a group's uh, helpful to that for that accountability. That accountability. Yeah. Well, I think for writers, procrastination is probably the number one thing. I, do you know how many, I bet you're listening. I, I, you've probably, I probably know this about you. You're, you're wanting to write a book and you've been wanting to write a book. And uh, who's listening out there that I'm hitting the nerve? I know I am because mm -hmm. many of our members have said to me, I have mm -hmm. a book I want to write. Um, one of our success partners, Kurt, are you listening? One of our success partners, Kurt White, Kurt P. White, um, who has an amazing story to tell. Yes. And he has a book to write. So many. And, yes. and what I hear is time, time, time making that yeah, time you're you just kind of the time you're putting it off maybe procrastinating possibly because we have time to do the things we want to do we make the time right and it's all about making the time and scheduling it mm -hmm. yeah. it's like exercise you yeah. know well i don't allow anyone to say to me i don't have time to exercise yeah i, I don't ever say that to me because that's just not true it's absolutely 100 percent not true Unless you are right. ill in the hospital, then maybe you can say, I can't do it right now. That Correct. would be true. Correct. But if you're, but if that's not your case, then you do mm -hmm. have time. You can mm -hmm. make time. I actually, um, and I give this as an example, I run with two teachers, well, and a retired principal now, mm -hmm. but they're teachers. They have to be at work at seven o'clock in the morning. They have kids, they have yes. young kids that are in school. Yes. And so they're going to all the games and all the stuff that they're running their kids around to. They mm -hmm. show up to work at seven o'clock in the morning. They mm -hmm. work all day, come home, clean house, you know, all the things that we do. Right. And they still find time to run four days a week. We go out at five o'clock in the morning. That amazes me. But we do it. That's dedication. It is dedication. Yeah. And it's just a point to say yes. there is no excuse. You can't say, oh, I can't wake up at five o'clock in the morning. You can if you want to. Correct. I don't want to wake up at five o'clock in sure. the morning, but I do. Just as an example, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And writing would be the same. Uh, yes. But uh, but again, I, it comes back to, and we're going to talk about it in just a second, not going so low. But you know what makes us get up is the group. Right. Yes. It's yes. it's it's the group. So let's just jump ahead because you guys, you got it right. Stop procrastinating. Start doing it now. Yeah. Take a break if you're tired. Um, I'm going to jump ahead and mm -hmm. then we'll come back because this makes perfect sense. Yes. Stop going solo and start building connections. Yes. 
it's time. It's nice to spend some time alone if it's time to refresh and recharge. Right. But if but if uh, you're constantly going solo, you are not sharpening your skills. That right. could be dulling your abilities. And right. So it's it's my running group that keeps us going at that time of the right. morning. It's a good example. It's your writing group that will keep you writing on time. You will have accountability to know I need to bring this back next right. week. And I, I think the other part of it is that when you join a group or a community, um, you bring uh, talents to that group. So I'm hoping the people who um, participate in this, I've decided to write, um, will be able to, um, you know, provide a presentation on a topic that they're expert in. Absolutely. And, you know, we all have connections mm -hmm. with people who, um, you know, have other talents. So, you know, uh, from my freelance group that I started, um, I, I have some people who I'm thinking of, you know, coming in and talking about different topics that are, you know, that's what they do for a living. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, I'm hoping people who join will um, be willing to, you know, educate the rest of us on something they know about. Absolutely. Yeah. It's contribution, which it is. is a piece of the puzzle for success. Yes. We all need to contribute. That's a part of being success. successful. You can mm -hmm. have all the other nine pieces of the puzzle for success. Mm -hmm. But if you don't contribute, if you're not giving back, Right. You're not going to feel fulfilled. Mm -hmm. And that feeling of uh, being fulfilled is success. It is. That's what success. When someone says, well, what is success really? Because we think of success like fame and fortune. Right. 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 Like if I'm rich and got all these things, I'm super successful. But no, that is, that's you can be rich and not be successful, in my opinion. Right. Successful is saying I ha I am fulfilled, like I am yeah. doing the things that I know yeah. I should be doing. Yeah. I was just going to say in my mind, being successful is being self-fulfilled. Mm -hmm. So it's it's setting that goal, working toward that goal and then um, making that goal come true. Yes. Yeah. And it might, and, and, it, and it may take a long time, right. but just knowing that you're making those little choices every day, that's right. moving you in that yes. direction Correct. because life happens, right? So it we does. get, we get roadblocks. <laughs> yes, we we get roadblocks. <laughs> so speaking of uh, road, uh, stop <laughs> driving the same way and mm -hmm. start taking a different route. Right. Uh, I bet you there's many routes that you can take to work. But something tells me that you take the fastest, most effective way to get there right. and rarely take any other routes. Now, that's just an analogy. I realize this, yes. but it's the same with it's the same in anything in life. Right. We get in yes. that comfort zone. We do. And we just keep going the same route. Right. So I'm hoping that through this, uh, I've decided to write that people can get out of their comfort zone. If, you know, maybe they've never thought of writing a blog. Um, you know, we can talk about that and uh, learn from others who have. Mm -hmm. I love that. Um, or because some people could maybe they think they have a great story, but they don't think they can write. But mm -hmm. I think everybody can. Right. I think writing is a learned. I mean, you may not be able to. Not everyone is necessarily born to write novels. We're right. not all going to be right. famous writers mm -hmm. that people are, you know, going to seek after to to read our books. Not mm -hmm. in that kind of arena, maybe. Mm -hmm. But I think anyone can learn to tell a story right. or uh, write an article. Correct. I, I always I say this all the time. If I can do it, anybody can do it. Oh, and that's wow. true. That's true. It's true because I think. You do learn and you just yeah. you just get better at it. Yeah. And it starts to come a little easier. Yeah. I'm excited, you know, uh, to be a part of it and to learn and hopefully contribute. And yeah. um, I, and I know that anyone who uh, joins will be glad that they stepped outside their comfort zone, yeah. too. Uh, so just, you know, thinking when we're speaking of comfort zone again, it's kind of like don't confuse procrastinating with taking a break. Right. Um, don't for, don't confuse, you know, uh, getting out of your comfort zone with consistency. Consistency is important. It is. Doing things with a consistent manner helps mm -hmm. us get to where we want to be. Yes. But if we're looking at it from a, a place of, I'm just doing everything that seems easy. I'm not, 
Okay, a good self-reflection question would be, when is the last time I challenged myself? Yeah. When is the last time I did something that was a little risky? A yep. li- you know, a little like, oh, right. you know, not yes. dangerous, but just something that you kind of right. wanted to do, but mm-hmm. it seemed a little, for some people, that could just be coming into a community. It could be, yeah. But but I think that um, you'll find that people are welcoming and they're willing to share their talents and, and mentor. I've done a lot of mentoring uh, over the years with uh, Brad Bradley students. Yes. And so um, really enjoy that and hope to do that with others. So, you know, no need to fear, uh, you know, becoming part of a group. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to be sharing this at the Women in Leadership, too. I'm I'm on the board there and I'm the VP of mentorship. And so I think this is kind of a mentor group, right? It's kind of what I decided to write is kind of it really could be looked at as like someone who's an expert in writing is sharing your knowledge and bringing other experts in sharing their knowledge. Yep. It's free. Mentoring is typically a free thing that someone does for you. Right. So it kind of yeah. is like a mentoring group yeah. for writing. Yeah. And, and, and again, I think we learn from each other. And I always like to say that uh, many heads are better than one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we, we learn from each other and, you know, that's, that's the um, environment I want to bring to the, I've decided to write group is, uh, uh, you know, a warm, welcoming place mm-hmm. and, and we, we help each other and Absolutely. we learn from each other. Yes. Yeah. And I, I want to say too, this is uh, free to the I've Decided community. Mm-hmm. And we haven't really talked about whether or not, you know, we would going into the new year, if we would invite someone and if there would be a charge, if you're not a member, but sure. if you're in the I've Decided community, this is absolutely free yeah. um, writing group. And if you're not in the I've Decided community, it's really easy to join. You can log in to I've Decided.org and you can uh, join. And the best part about it right now is we have our introductory rate for our success membership. It's only $7 for your first month. And so you pay seven bucks, you get a full month of the I've Decided success membership um, benefits. Mm -hmm. And you get to decide at the end of that month, if you really loved what you're getting, you can continue on your membership at the 39 a month, which is our normal rate. Um, or you can say, you know what, it's not what I thought it was and you can right. cancel. So really you're only out seven bucks. It's a great deal. Yeah, and great then deal. you can get in on the, um, you can join in on the writing, um, group next week, which next week we've invited everyone to kind of join for free for that first meeting, just to right. kind of see what it's all about. Right. So you right. can come visit for the first meeting, but you'll have to decide after that. So just want to be clear about that. Um, But uh, it's a great way to get into our community, especially if writing is your bag, then this is the the time and the place to do it. Um, So stop driving the same way and take a different route. Step outside of your comfort zone. Success is where happens outside of that comfort zone. It's never in your easy chair. Correct. 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 <laughs> Never ever. Next yes. Step. Yeah. And we've already talked about stop going solo and start building um, connections. One thing I wanted to say, and um, you mentioned this just a little bit, but I wanted to highlight it about being in a group mm-hmm. is hanging around like-minded people enhances your abilities and it just helps you gain greater knowledge. Correct. And so you want to be with like-minded people. And the thing that That's I'm important. looking forward to um, and what I'm hoping to be able to get out of the group is some just some feedback, some honest, constructive feedback, right? Just mm-hmm. like if you would have worded this a little differently or maybe you left something out that could have been an important factor, like just mm-hmm. reading my articles, right? Because right. that's what I spend a lot of time writing is our week. I write our weekly winning resource for I Decided and the articles. Yes. And so I'm hoping to get that honest feedback to help improve those skills and just Because when someone is truly reading your material, looking to give you some feedback, you're going to learn. Right. And get information that you may not have thought about. Right. And I think um, one of the other things I wanted to mention is that so for 2022, the uh, sessions will be uh, September, October, November, and it'll be really an educational topic. Um, Our meeting next week will... uh, 
be focusing on getting to know the people who have joined and what their expectations are for the group. And my goal is to use feedback from uh, next Wednesday's session to help plan 2023. So my goal there is to have like part of the meeting be an educational topic and then uh, kind of get into the nuts and bolts of a true writers group where people are writing um, drafts and then submitting them for review. Great. And I'm going to be researching all that. That's amazing. <laughs> it's now going to be in January yeah. to, to make sure that we're running it um, as efficiently and uh, as possible. Well, you had, I mean, obviously you're the right person for this. So I, you've already had one successful, very successful group and, um, and it's, and you wanted, and you're ready to start it again. So obviously, um, we're going to be able to learn so much and, and you take this very seriously. So yeah, it's, I it's do. going to be really great. Um, and then last but not least, stop ignoring your self care and start taking care of yourself. Very I important. cannot tell you. Um, and I do say that I don't generally, I'm like, these are in no particular order, but this one, I do think I really saved the best for last because, yes. um, there is nothing more important than your self care. I, my favorite, most recently I ran across this quote and I've said it a million times and you guys have probably heard me say it already, but it's worth repeating. And I say it all the time. Uh, the best thing that I can do for you is to take care of myself. True. And the best thing that you can do for me is to take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. And I told my husband, I said, I'm going to, I want that in our, I want that like, painted in our room or on a plaque in our bedroom or something, because especially from a relational point of view in a, in a marriage setting yes. or in a, you know, uh, that special relationship that you're in, yes. that is the best. I mean, truly the best gift that I can give to Joe is to take care of myself. And the best Absolutely. gift that he can give to me is to take care of himself. Yes. And if you were just, if you think about that, then you recognize, because most people, tend to look at it as being selfish um, or they don't have time because they're busy taking care of someone else. But if you're not in the best, if you're not your best self, right? how can you take care of anyone else? Mm -hmm. Even if you're a mom of toddlers, you can't take care of those, right. all them kids. You have to take Great. care of yourself. <laughs> yeah, that's number one. Yes. And yes. you have to, it's, it comes back to when you say, I don't have time, I'm too busy. You know, you have to make the time. Make the there time. is a way to make the time. Yes. There is a way. There is a way. There's always a way to do what you want to do. It has to become a priority. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. And your kids will thank you because will. you will be will. happier, less grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> they will appreciate that. Your spouse, your partner, your special yeah. person in your life yeah. will be much happier because you will be less grumpy. I talked a little bit about things that are important, like being hydrated. Mm -hmm. And I just, I have to share that with everybody that I meet because um, the medical society says that 80% of the population are dehydrated. Now it almost sounds unbelievable, but it's yeah. not, it's the truth. Just talk to anyone at the emergency room. They will tell you yeah. that 40% of the people that come in with chronic, like think they're dying, yeah. Once they're fully hydrated, all their symptoms go away and yes. they feel much better. Dehydration is chronic and it, it will kill you. It is it it's deadly. Yes. It is um, a very serious condition it and um, you can't be your best self if you're dehydrated. Right. And I know it sounds so silly, but yeah, it's so and true. I think we've all had, I mean, I've had an experience with a family member. Um, with that. So mm -hmm. it, what you're saying is very true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so that's the number one thing. Make sure you stay hydrated, sleep, you know, taking care of your sleep, thinking that you're getting more done because you're only working four or five hours, you know, yeah. and, or sleeping, sorry, four or five hours, just so that you can get up and do more work and thinking you're just hammering it out, getting things done. Really, yeah. you're less productive and if you think you're sharp on four or five hours of sleep, you should see how sharp you could be on seven or eight yes. hours of sleep. Yeah. <laughs> Much sharper. <laughs> That's what we're talking about sharpening. Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> sharpening those skills. Well, if you if you take um, if you go back to taking that rest, 
you know, you, they, uh, whoever, I always love it when I say they say, they say whoever they are, but the experts out there say that if you, uh, for every hour that you're sitting down working, mm -hmm. um, you need to take a 10 minute break. So every 60 minutes, 10 minutes break. And, mm -hmm. and they've done research and studies that show that you, the person who does that mm -hmm. gets way more accomplished in their day than the person that doesn't, because you're mm -hmm. only going to be able to focus for so long. Right. And you're, it's, it's just human nature. You're, you're, you're going to get tired, less productive, think, yes. not think as clearly. And it makes sense. It does. So that's what they say. That's what they say. <laughs> yeah. So let's listen to them, whoever they are. Um, so, all right. I always love that old saying, give yourself oxygen first, and then you can have what you need to take care of somebody else. Yes. So it's just so true. And so, you know, if we're not looking at these things, these behaviors that we can kind of get stuck in every day mm -hmm. and not even reckon and not recognizing if they're good or bad, you know, that's mm -hmm. determining where you're going. Right. Believe it or not, it is. You're going to get somewhere. You're going to get somewhere. Where do you want to go? And you're in the driver's seat and you have control of your car. So wherever you're driving it is wherever you're going to go. And so um, it's just so important that you pay attention to those and, and make sure you stay sharp. Sharp, you know, the sharper you are, the better you are. Uh, usually I give them the definition. I think everybody kind of knows sharpen to make sharper, sharper, but this is my favorite, to hone or improve something. So if you want to sharpen your writing skills, don't forget, you can join us virtual from wherever you are Wednesday night, starting Wednesday night. There are going to be three sessions, yes. September, October, November in 2022, and then we'll pick up again in 2023. Yes. But the thing you need to know right now is September 28th is the first session. It is free. Anyone can come to that and give it a whirl um, at 6.30 p.m. for an hour on Zoom, wherever you are. And um, you can email us. Send. You can go to our website at ivedecided.org. Hit the contact. Send a message there. If you really want to join this group, you should be able to get in touch with us and figure out how to make that happen. And we would love to see you. So, uh, Julie, thank you so much you, for Tom. being on the podcast with me this week. It was a perfect fit um, for, for our uh, topic. Yes. And so I, I look forward to sharpening my writing skills and learning from you and your experts that you bring in to teach us. And uh, I'm ex I thank you for, My you know, pleasure. for stepping up, <laughs> stepping up and stepping out and contributing back to your I've Decided community as a member mm -hmm. and offering your expert skills, your writing skills and doing this. So thank you for that. You're welcome. And thank you guys for tuning in and joining us. I hope that um, you will take to heart some of the things you heard today and work at sharpening your skills and stop doing some of those things that might be dulling your abilities. So until next time, you guys make it great. Bye-bye.